Um, speech. Um, so this picture that you see here is actually a picture that I took along the Amalfi Coast when I was hiking. Um, and this is in Italy. Uh, this picture is a little artifact that I bought. I have it right here. Um, I bought it so I could remember all my little trips and experiences I had while I was in Italy. Um, while I was in Italy, there were a lot of cultural differences between there and here. Um, and also, uh, I was there for three years, so you have to make a lot of new, uh, new friends, and these friends become your family. <clears throat> All right, so one of the biggest cultural differences is, in America, it's go, 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 work, work, work. Um, the Italians, they like to take their leisure time. They like coffee, they like cigarettes, they like to just, you know, hang out and talk. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, another difference is the languages and the gestures. Um, it's very hard, very hard to communicate with most people because they speak a different language, they have a different way of communicating. Uh, so that was definitely a challenge that I had to adapt and overcome. <coughs> um, so back to the family and the friends. Um, mine became the ones I saw every day on base. So the, my coworkers, um, the people I saw at the store, the gym. Um, because your, your family and your friends are back in the States. So it's really hard to, uh, to keep in touch, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So as Francis Bacon said, and I, I could really relate to this quote, and that's why I liked it and that's why I used it. Travel in the younger sort is a part of education and the elder a part of experience. And I think this relates to everything that I just talked about because everything that I had to adapt and overcome while I was over there uh, made me a better person, made me a stronger person. And I hope to use those skills <clears throat> when I get here and start classes which have so here at the university. Uh, that's that's it. Thank you.